this is step one of how to paint in the style of Matisse. A la Mise Brennan. So, I have a palette here that I'm going to use. I have my piece of paper underneath. So, in this video, we're just going to paint the background in one colour. So, it's good to start with a colour in your background and not a white page because that's what Matisse did. So we're going to, regardless of what your scene looks like, we're all going to start with the same colour background. So I'm going to get a little bit of red and I'm going to put a little dot, probably about the size of a 10 cent piece up in the left hand corner. I'm going to get a little bit of yellow and I only need a little bit of that, probably about a five cent piece there. And I'm also going to use a little bit of white. Brush, sort of a medium sized paintbrush. That'll be good for my background. And I've got a jar of water or a cup of water or a water container. I'm going to wet my brush. I'm going to go to my red. I'm going to take a bit and I'm going to take it away massage the water in. I'm then going to get the yellow and I'm going to mix that in with the red. And the reason why we do it that way is because we want to be able to move our colour over to make a new colour. Now you might think on the video that doesn't look so different to that but it actually does in real life. And by moving my colour into this I can actually control how much yellow or red and eventually how much white I'm going to add to that. Just going to get this white to open. Right back. There you go, that's better. So there's my white. About again a 10 cent piece worth. I'm going to pick up quite a bit of that white and move it into here because I want this to be a pale kind of pinky colour and this is going to be the colour in my background. When I've got it all mixed in, I'm just going to move my palette. I'm actually going to paint in this background. So just wetting my brush again putting it into the paint. I'm just going to start painting up and down like this. What I'm aiming for is to get a nice smooth even background. Now some little parts of this might be a little bit darker than others because of the way that I've mixed the paint and that's okay, it doesn't matter because we're actually going to paint over all of this but it's just giving us a background to work with which is often the first step in a painting because you know with your watercolours or other paintings that you've done it's not ever just one layer, it's constantly building up lots and lots of layers on top of each other. And sometimes when you start with just a white background, it can be a little bit daunting. And by giving yourself a little bit of colour, you're actually knocking out a few steps along the way. Now, I can see there's a tiny little bit of background coming through there. But I'm not completely worried about that because Matisse often had a bit of raw canvas showing through when he painted. So I'm going to pretend like I'm Matisse and I'm going to have a little bit of raw page just showing through in slight areas which might add to my painting as it develops. So 
nice and opaque. It's quite different to using watercolour. Now if you run out of paint in the middle of it and you have to remix it, you just have to try and remember how much of each colour you used to make the colour you ended up with. So we want that white and that yellow in there because that just makes it a little bit less dark and sometimes it's hard to go over dark colours and we do want to go over all of this. Okay. So there you go, that's done and that just now needs to dry and you can see I've still got quite a bit of paint left so you don't want to be too wasteful with your paint, you want it to last so maybe rather than a what did I say, 10 cent piece, maybe you only need a 5 cent piece size of every colour. Okay, go and wash my palette now. Bye.